let me share again. Yeah. Yes, please. Now I'll. I'm showing it again. Yeah, can you uh, continue what you were saying? Uh, yeah, they basically try to divert when they are not able to solve problems. For example, uh, you know, uh, playing video games, things of that sort, right? Yeah, so they are trying to do it uh, on their own. They're either solve, uh, um, so play some game. On Individually, they want to do sort it out and not really talk to people about it. Yeah, that's uh, but that's the opposite of what the female uh, qualities about okay so next thing what do we see oh, hmm. yeah so next so next thing what we see is yeah yeah yes, Moabin means what Movable means what does it say about the nature of the person? Yeah. Okay, the question is passed. Someone means knows? assertive. They are assertive. Yeah, and they also initiate change. Initiate the change. Initiate change, and what is the key attribute? Agile. Self starters. No, no, no. Yeah, correct. They are initiators of change. Yeah, that is the correct thing. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, Mr. Gaurav, next, what do we see? Okay, that lagna part is done. Uh, what do we see now? Next. <clears throat> So next, what we see uh, is uh, uh, obviously next what we see is where is the sun sign and where is the moon sign, and also we have to number the houses, the starting from ascendant, which is the house yeah. number one. Yeah. So in this case, this is exactly same as Kalakusha. So what will be the first one? House. Yeah. So yeah, first one it will be where ascendant is written. Okay. The second one will be. If you have to move towards right, that is clockwise, uh, where Venus, Ketu, and uh, Mercury is there. Then the third is Saturn, fourth, fifth is blank. Yeah. So sixth is be... Twelfth will be with sign. Twelfth uh, will be, yeah, uh, Pisces. Pisces, uh, where yes. Jupiter, Yeah, where Jupiter okay. is there. Eleventh is Mars. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that is fine. Now, what is a sun sign now? Sun is where? It is an ascendant sign only in the first house itself. Yeah, and moon? Uh, moon is in, uh, uh, it is in uh, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn. Capricorn. Yeah, so that is in 10th house. Yes. Next, what do we see? So basically, uh, you have told us that uh, you have to see the sun sign and where it is. So sun is in Aries sign and it is in the first house. So we have to look at the documents to see uh, if sun is in the first house, what will be the characteristic? Yeah. Can you, I think you don't need to read the entire thing. Just read the important thing from that sun and first house because uh, we I would like all to participate today. So if you can just read the first two points is enough. Okay. <clears throat> just one second, I'll read. See, see the first, yeah, yeah. The first house represents uh, the personality. Okay, or yeah. the persona of the person. So most important thing is if sun is in the first house, uh, you know, the person will have a lot of confidence and self-assurance. That is what yes. we can also call as a belief in self. <clears throat> yeah. 
So sun, <coughs> excuse me. So sun in first house means that the person will always be very confident about things and will be very clear in the purpose. But the uh, usual disadvantage is people might think is uh, super thinking himself to be superior or superiority complex, but that is not the case. Uh, so that's the usual characteristics of sun having sun being in first house. Okay, let's quickly go. Moon in which house is it now? Moon is in 10th house. Yeah, so moon in 10th house. Can you tell? Or if this is taking time, anyone who has that thing open can just tell about moon in 10th. But say? overall, it will be done and guided by Gaurav. Yeah. yeah. Moon, so moon in 10th house. Person will be majestic. He can hmm. be a celebrity. Okay. His deeds will be remembered uh, all over the world. He will have dramatic ups and downs in career. Okay, fine. Okay, that is sufficient. Very nice. Now, Mr. Gaurav can continue. Next, what do we see? Uh, next, we have to see the directional strengths. Uh, so just for a minute, I'll, I'll show I'll show my PDF also. So we have seen these. Now we'll see directional strength. I have given the guideline here, and I hope you have it open anyway. So let's look at uh, directional strength. Are there any planets having directional strength? <clears throat> so first house is for which two planets? Direction Mercury two. and Jupiter. But we don't. Do we have it here? No. No. Then next, what do we have? Four yes, thousand, right? Yeah, yes. Sec yeah, four thousand. Yes, one, two, three, four. No, no planets no are plan. there. Yes. Fourth, which one has directional strength? Moon Fourth, uh, we have uh, Moon and uh, Venus. Yeah, there is none. Then. Next would be seventh, right? Correct. Yes. Seventh, what? Which planets have the Bala? Saturn. Saturn. It is not there. Then Correct. tenth. Tenth is Sun, Mars, and Rahu. Mm. So that is also not there. And Next. then the house number twelve, Ketu. That is also not there because also 12th has mm, Jupiter. Correct. Yes. So directional strain, none of them have here. Okay. Next. The, the next step is check for exaltation. Yeah. Exaltation. One minute. I'll show the other PDF here. Exaltation. We have these. Uh, these as the more we do, it will become come in memory. So if you can go and check here anything in exaltation. Yeah, so uh, I think as per my notes uh, for Aries, uh, sun gets exalted. Is it correct? That's that's true. So here in this chart, sun is exalted. Correct. Yes. And uh, then Moon is not there. Jupiter. No. Virgo. No. So uh, actually, Moon and Rahu gets exalted in Taurus, and uh, mm. uh, they are not there in the second house because in second house we have Venus, Ketu, and uh, Moon. Mercury. Mars, Mars. So sorry, Mercury. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Mars. Mars is in eleventh house. And uh, oh. Mars get exalted in Capricorn, but Mars here is in uh, Aquarius. Correct. So that also not does not get exalted. Mercury gets exalted in Virgo. So Mercury is anyway is in second house, so it won't get exalted. Jupiter yes. gets exalted in Cancer, so it is also not getting exalted. Then uh, Venus gets exalted in uh, Meena Rashi. That is Pisces, mm. which is also not getting exalted. Saturn in Libra. Saturn mm. in Libra. Saturn is in third house, so that also doesn't get exalted. Yes. And 
Ketu gets exalted in Scorpio. Ketu, Ketu is where it is in second house, so that also doesn't get exalted. So only one so, planet is exalted. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Venkat, only one planet gets exalted, which is Sun. Very good. What about debilitation? So if if I look at debilitation, Sun gets debilitated in Libra. Obviously, Sun is in first house. That's not. Moon gets ex Moon and Rahu gets ex uh, sorry debilitated in Scorpio, which is okay. So Scorpio is one, two, three, four, five. Yes. So Moon, Moon, Moon is Moon is not there. Moon is not there. there. And Rahu, where is Rahu? So one, two. Rahu so gets debilitated. Yeah. Rahu is there. So Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Uh, after that, Leo, Virgo, Libra, and after Libra, Scorpio. Okay, so yes, yeah. it gets debilitated in this chart. Yeah. So to make it easier, wherever you have first house, for example, here, I don't know mm -hmm. if cursor is visible here. So first house here means directly diagonal will be seventh always. Yes. Okay. It. Then immediately next is eighth. So, so Rahu is getting debilitated. Is that correct? Yes. Mr. yes. So Rahu debilitated and Ketu also Ketu corresponding. Because they are always seven apart. Very so good. Ketu also debilitated, Rahu also debilitated. There is no other planet debilitated here. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Venkat. Yeah. Uh, I'm not able to see the uh, print clearly. If you can call out, I will write down. In the first house, I see uh, is there, but not able to read it clearly. The second one has. From, uh, which device have you joined? Is it a mobile or is it laptop? It's a laptop only. Okay. But I mean, maximum size. What I can do is uh, paste the screenshot of this in the WhatsApp. Will that help you? OK. Uh, you can do one other thing also, uh, uh, Madam. Uh, you can double click on that that you see as a small chart, right? So if you double click, it will enlarge further on your screen. OK. Now it has been completely blacked out. But that might be the speed yeah. problem. Hmm. Yeah, for me also it is blanked out maybe uh, oh now because i have shifted windows that's yeah, right you have shifted. i'm sending it what you go back probably it will be easier like that yeah yeah correct so yeah, i am right. sent it sent the or this chart in whatsapp now i am going back to this yeah so we have found about debility exaltation debilitation in terms of oh, their well, sign, we have not seen the degrees yet. So, yeah, somebody has a question. But we have to look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to. Have look, we have to look at others also. Like Mars gets debilitated in Cancer, which is not getting debilitated. Mercury in Pisces, which is out, not getting debilitated. Jupiter in Capricorn. Jupiter yeah, yeah. also is not getting debilitated. Venus in uh, Virgo. So Venus anyway is in second house, so not getting debilitated. And yeah. Saturn in Aries is not getting debilitated, and Ketu yes is getting debilitated. Yes, Mr. Venkat. Okay. Uh, Venus and Jupiter are in own house. Yeah, that's correct. So we'll first go by the steps so that everyone gets used to the steps first. Then we can go with uh, your own observations. Yeah, I think um, we'll go with the next person because I don't think everyone will be able to fit if you do individually one by one. Uh, thanks, Mr. Gaurav. So let's uh, let me choose one another person. I'll go by the uh, screen order. Yeah, Ms. Samarthya Tankappan. OK. You can now continue with the same chart on other things that we see next. I'm going to share again. So what do we uh, see next now? 
the next thing um, after the exaltation and debilitation we look at is actually I can't see anything on the screen yet. Oh, it is not. It's not visible for others as well. I, I don't know. Yes. For me, it's not visible. Not, not oh. visible no, 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 it not is visible. not visible for me also. Oh, for me, it's saying it is sharing. I'll do again. Start sharing. Now, I think it takes some time to load it. I'll close my other windows also. Let's give it a few seconds. Is it visible now? No, not yet. Strange. Otherwise, let me. Let's say. Generic. Now, uh, now, now I'm seeing I can see. Yeah, we can see. Okay. Now. Yeah. So next thing. Now let me also go back to this. Uh, now we see this. Uh, this we have seen. Next is sun in specific sign. Next we see moon in that also seen. Now we'll see Mars. Mars in the sign. Mars is in which house? Or rather, which house and which sign? Sorry, I, I thought we were looking at exaltation, debilitation, and the that's next. Over. That's over, yeah. Uh, and the next one was looking at the characteristics of. Uh, yeah, that actually, uh, he, he told it in the beginning itself, along with the identification of ascendant. Ah, okay, sorry, I missed it because my I was having yeah. some problems. No problem. So that uh, ascendant, sun, moon is done. Now we go to Mars. Okay, uh, we have Mars in. We have Mars Which in the 11th house. house. That's right, 11th house. We have Mars in the 11th house. So the characteristics, I'm just trying to re re revisit myself and check that. If that's okay. Does anyone else have it open? Yeah. Mars. Can we say? I yes, also speech. Hmm. He's a self-made person. The person is more um, self-made. Self-made. Um, yeah, they uh, they are quite adventurous. Adventurous, um, self-made. Okay. Uh, quite famous. Famous. Okay. Good. Um, and I think. Um, they are quite um, well known, well known by many people. Yeah. So Sorry, this, that's, a, that, that's yeah, all yeah. I can remember myself. Sure. So this ability Aquarius. Sorry. Ability to get work done by others. Hmm. Yeah. Does anyone uh, can anyone refer what Aquarius? Indicate in general. Aquarius. Aquarius is which uh, element? Just I mean, not as a lagna, but in general I'm saying so that these things also we keep in mind. Which element is it? I mean, no need to refer. You can actually tell from the chart which element would it be? Aquarius. Aquarius would be um um. Oh, Aquarius air. will be air. 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 Yeah, air. air. And air indicates what? Communication. Hmm. Communicators. Yeah, yeah. In, ca in case of Lagna. So I'm just, <clears throat> just bringing that point while we are seeing this. Yeah. Okay. Next, after Mars. 
Mars, is it Jupiter we look at? Mercury. Mer Mercury. Mercury is in um, one second house. Hmm. Second house, uh, and is it in its own house? Uh, it's no. no. It's not in its own house. Yes. What are Mercury's own houses? Mercury's own houses would be house number three, which is Mithuna. Yes. Uh, Kanya. Yes, yes, that's correct. So in this case, it is not in its own house. That's yeah. number one. Number two, this is in which sign? Um, sorry, I didn't get your question. Mercury is in which zodiac sign? In this chart. Yeah, in this chart. Uh, in this chart, this is in two. It's in um, Vishabha. Yes. Oh. Or English uh, name is Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. Now Mercury in second house, what does it mean? Mercury in second house, uh, they are um, uh, scholarly people. Um, they are very generous, um, very good at speech, and uh, mainly uh, like self-made people. <clears throat> is it okay fine okay so second house represents what uh, liquid assets any other things anything else others can say second house what does it represents what else uh, family speech. family mm. speech food and I, I and speech. Yeah. Second house also is money. It's to do with money. Yes. Uh, yeah, also. Uh, uh, <coughs> yeah, Sanskrit name is Dhanasthana. So it is Dhanastana. liquid assets, family, food, nourishment, speech. Okay. Okay, excellent. Now, next planet, what do we see? Uh, Jupiter? We've seen. Um, so Mars. I think you have done with two, right? Mars and Mercury. Yeah. yeah. So let's now shift. Um, I'm unable to see the list of participants when I share the screen. I don't know if maybe somebody else can volunteer, please, for the next two planets. Jupiter in the twelfth house. I'll see. Who is speaking? Ring Sure, sure. Uh, no, Jupiter, Jupiter is in which house? In uh, uh, Pis uh, Pisces in the 12th house. Yes. So basically detached from worldly luxuries. Spirituality takes over rather than materialistic. Mm. Philanthropic attitude. A oh. lot of money goes out by gifting, donating, lending, etc. Hmm. Hmm. And Pisces is it which element? Uh, uh, the water. The water. Yes, that's correct. Water. After Jupiter. So, what does Jupiter represent? Jupiter represents. Uh, uh, the it is a benefic planet represents uh, uh, good good things in life. Mm -hmm. Can you so add some more things? Power, wealth, position. Well, okay. Mm, okay, it's a, it's more about. Uh, can someone else add more? What else can we say about Jupiter? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, wisdom. wisdom and then actuality. Yeah, it gives us also the teaching ability like uh, yeah. people with the uh, strong Jupiter uh, have are yes. good teachers. They are good gurus. Yes. Yeah, justice, justice 
and worldly no, knowledge. No, no, justice is not justice a is with Saturn. Saturn, yes. Yeah, justice is Saturn. So Jupiter general trend is it will lead to growth. So growth, growth not yes. vertically but uh, overall. Yeah. It, it can also relate to uh, spirituality. Yes, spirituality Jupiter. wisdom. That yeah, same yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, just one thing, uh, uh, Venkat, actually in the chart, right, that uh, PPT is for Jupiter, justice is also there. So if that is not there, then we should remove it as well. Okay, I'll get that checked because Saturn has the character for justice and fairness. Here, justice and ethics are there. Here, justice, ethics are also there. Okay, okay. Yeah, that might be... Uh, uh, pointing to the spiritual angle, but I'll also check with Dr. Bala on why that is there. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay. Let's move to next one. Next, what do we have after Jupiter? Jupiter, Venus. Venus. Yes. Marriage, comforts, luxury. So where is Venus here? Venus is in the second house. Venus in second house, what does it mean? Own, own house. Correct. That's own house. And Jupiter was also one. in own house. With silver spoon. They enjoy the family wealth and comfort. They have a good face and good speech. They get hmm. desired life partner. Okay. So let's move to next person. Someone else can volunteer. Next we'll see Saturn and Rahu. Saturn and Rahu. Okay, let me just... Yeah. Um, uh, Lalita ji, you can, are you able to see that chart? Yeah, I have written Saturn in the uh, third yeah. house. Can you tell for Saturn? I'll yeah. share again here. Hmm. This is the third house. And the third represents aim, ambition, courage, art and passion, communication. And uh, people living and working nearby. That is the position of the third. And uh, Saturn in the third house represents creative and uh, fond of writing, art and painting, but mm. it causes also strained relationship with the siblings and the friends. Success will be when it's its own house. And it aspects the fifth and causing creative skills. When it aspects the ninth house, it causes travel for work and business. And if it is that, and the twelfth aspect is foreign travel and interested in spirituality and occult late in life. But mainly, okay. a very organized, disciplined, and structured in their communication and creative arts. Okay. Is Saturn in its own house here? Yes. Yes. No. Saturn is lord of which two houses? Which two signs, I mean? Uh, Capricorn. Ten and left. Makara and Kumba. Yeah. Yes. It should Capric be Capricorn, yeah, Capricorn and, Aquarius. and Aquarius. Correct. For uh, Gemini, who is the lord? Mercury. Mercury. Yes. Mercury. Okay. So next we have to we have to tell about Rahu. Rita Ji. Yeah, what? Eight house. Rahu is in the eighth house. Eight house is correct. 
One second. So we're getting good preparation I, for test. Yeah, yeah, I managed to locate it. Sorry. Hmm. Uh, eight phase by itself represents core vitality, transformation, house materials, and longevity. And yes. Saturn, but it is a Rahu in the eighth house, it's a Dustana also. Mm -hmm. It gives very long life, but as a Dustana, I do not know how it is going to manifest. Gains wealth through inheritance, good for banking sector and wealth management. Native can be in the medical field or uh, pharma, travel and foreign uh, foreign settlement also. But these accident being in the Dustana, how will it manifest? Okay. Now let's move to next person. Excuse me, sir. Being yeah. a Dustana, uh, how how will these positive things be interpreted? So the Dustana doesn't mean uh, bad things for everything. It means the, the quality of eight is Dustana. But for some planets, it gives good results. Okay, that's how it is. The Rahu being malefic planet, it gives good things here. General, yeah. General trend is malefic do well in Dustana or you know the those considered uh, as bad. Their malefic does good in general. That's a general thumb rule. Okay. Yeah. So next, after Rahu, we'll see. K2, okay, then we'll discuss other things. K2 is in house two. No, we'll choose another volunteer. Miss Seema. Can you do for K2? Yes, my So K2 is in. Um, in the second house and uh, Ketu usually uh, in the second house uh, uh, custodian of great wealth trait forward speech uh, tongue twister like lawyers but they have obstruction in gaining education and knowledge success mm -hmm. is delayed but not denied mm -hmm. and uh, Combined with Saturn, it gives gain in the transport industry. Ketu in the second house. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> what is the nature of Ketu? So, uh, Ketu. Doubt. Uh, it is uh, to check the auspiciousness and the strength. Check or uh, uh, like kind of you know to know the auspiciousness or the I don't know. No, that is that we have not covered. Can someone else add about what what does K two detachment? Yeah, detachment. Detachment. Yes. Detachment. Spirituality. Yes. Spiritual uh, inclination. Yes. Self realization. Yes. Self self realization. So basically, truth seeker. Okay. Okay. So Ketu is towards spiritualism. Rahu is towards materialism. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. And uh, in general, wherever our Rahu is placed, that whatever that house represents usually becomes our main thing in life or the thing we pursue in life. In general, that's how it is seen in charts. For example, for this person, Rahu is in eighth house. So this person is more inclined towards research, 
or looking or going into the mysteries or occult sciences, things like that. That is generally that is the observation. So you can check Rahu in your charts and see. But he is in deb debilitated states, no? That eight thousand. Yeah, yeah. In this, I'm just uh, telling general general Scorpio. trends. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Generally, that is the observation. Yeah, whether it debilitated, all the specifics will come later. Okay. As the first thumb roll is this, yeah. So basically, they, the Rahu will take the characteristics of that particular house, right? Like in this case, it is Scorpio. So it will take most of the characteristics of Scorpio. Is that how it is? Uh, no, no. What I'm saying is, water, wherever it is placed, and what that house represents, is the main uh, thing we pursue in our life as our goal. That is the general. Uh, ah, so, so it will follow the characteristics of Scorpio in this case. Yeah, correct. So that's why you are saying research, occult practices. Yes, yes, correct, correct. Yeah. Spiritual and all that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Venkat. Could you please repeat that? In general, wherever Rahu is placed. That becomes yes. the main goal for that person in life uh, that the person pursues. Oh, I guess. Okay. But yeah. Just, this is a general point. Specific so might be different. So, so just as an example, if Rahu is in second house, because second house is wealth, or yeah. uh, so what does it mean that person will pursue the wealth only? Yeah, it means it will likely to be in something financial. Might be in a stock exchange, something like that. Something related to finance, like that. Okay, understood. Yeah. And in Taurus, so, exalted, uh, like in this. It is also exalted there, yes. Sorry, Venka, just one question. If Rahu is in the first house, the first house is all about persona, uh, nature, and appearance. So that means the person will be very self conscious of uh, what. Yeah, the person needs. will be more focused on oneself so they are more likely to be um, good for being in politics so they are more towards power and self growth like that so they are very good for politics okay. i'm slightly confused because when you talked about rahu we were saying that it will take the characteristics of that house in the sense with respect to the uh, uh, sign like say for example it's scorpio means it takes scorpio right like that, right? So, which means that it, is one, yeah. it should take mm. characteristics of Mesha. No, no, no. Uh, not Mesha. It's not for the sign, the house. Characteristics oh, of house. Okay. Yeah, not the sign. Okay. Because yeah. when, when we are talking about spiritual research and all that, when, when in this particular chart, that is related to uh, the uh, the one of Scorpio, right? So that's okay. why I was wanting to. Oh no no no. This. Okay, I think I missed your point there. It's not about Scorpio. It's about eighth house. Okay. Yeah. So, so Venkat, if I if I put it in this way, the native uh, of this horoscope uh, or his life will be more uh, you know driven by the place of Rahu, which in this case is eighth house. Is, yeah. Will that be correct? Yeah, that means it is something like that the eighth house represents research and all those uh, going into correct. deep correct. mysteries. Right. That right. becomes the main uh, sort of thing they are actively involved in. That's what it means. Yeah. That suit more the life. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. let's also look at. Sorry. Hello. Uh, yes, please. Rahul, please. Uh, you know, settling from uh, settling like uh, away from home, right? So usually uh -huh. you also mentioned. So does it mean that this person we can say that uh, his karma sthana or whatever it is will be away from his hometown? Mm, that depends on uh, this thing. I don't yeah, know that. Because usually I think. Can you please repeat that last? Be correct. Your voice is coming off and on. Hello? Yeah. Away from home will be when they are yeah. in Rahu is in fourth. Yeah. Not Rahu, sorry. Ketu is in fourth. 
or Saturn is in fourth, like that. Oh, okay, fine. Hmm. Okay. In terms of uh, then let's see. This friendship center are not covered for you, right? Is it cut done for you? Or did I cover it? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So let's look at some of these uh, aspects now. No, no. Just, one thing we have to cover is own own house. What is the contribution of that? Like Venus yeah. and Jupiter in this chart are in the own house. That's it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Strengthen the uh, this yeah. one. No, no. There is a gradation. Um, ideally, this there should be a class separately on all these friendship aspect and all that. So let me show you the gradation here. It might make sense. Um, I don't know if I can. I'm used to Zoom, not to Skype. I don't know if you can write here. Uh, you told that uh, thing once. Uh, dig, dig, well, uh, directional strength is number one. Yeah. Then no, no. exaltation number two. Exaltation stroke debilitation. No, I'll show you. I'll show you. I, I have the thing in the PowerPoint. Let me stop the sharing. I think this will give better meaning. I'm opening the file. Okay, now I'm sharing the screen. Is it visible for you? <laughs> now we can see. So this is from left side is the lowest. Let me mute everyone. I'm hearing too much noises around here. OK. I'll have to unshare and go back. Mute everyone. Now I'm sharing the screen. So this is left side is the weakest, right side strongest. So above exaltation is directional strength. So debilitation, planet is weakest, then the strength slowly increases depending on these cases. So what are the cases? Enemy's house. Enemy's house, little better than debilitation. Then neutral house, then friend's house, then own house. Then there is something called Mula Trikona. I don't think it's covered for use yet. Then exaltation, then directional strength. So that's how the planetary force strength is seen qualitatively. You can I'm take sorry. a screenshot. Mm. Can you please explain how to read this? Yeah, so for that, I have to explain this friendships. And I think it deserves a separate class. So for now, you just take it. What this means is. The let me write it here. Planetary strengths. Okay. This is the weakest, it goes up. There he have Digbala. That is strongest. Okay. So if they, if the for example in our case, Rahu and Ketu were in debilitation, so they are not in the in their good good strength. They are in the weakest strength. Then when they are in the enemy's house, for now you can 
just know that planets are grouped in two groups a b okay so we have sun mars uh jupiter moon then group b will have uh, sorry not mars uh, saturn rahu ketu venus mercury is neutral he mercury will take any one side okay now group a and group b are two teams so this group b and group b are enemies all those inside a are friends okay we'll discuss details later in a separate class but for now if you understand that planets are categorized into these two groups with mercury being neutral it is enough for now for today okay so based on this they are giving this gradation here enemy house for example if sun was in uh, aries right for that person sun and mars are friends so this doesn't apply for it if sun was in saturn's house or these venus house rahu ketu then ketu not rahu ketu saturn or venus house then it will be enemy house Oh, in oh. our chart that we read sun was in a aries which is house of mars. mars so sun was in friend's house actually so this is where it falls then comes own house then mola trikona mola trikona means uh, for every planet other than sun and moon we have two signs assigned for it right so mercury uh, has two signs gemini and virgo and then we had venus has two signs taurus and libra then mars has two signs aries and scorpio aries and scorpio jupiter has two signs pisces and uh, sagittarius Jupiter. then saturn has two houses aquarius, aquarius capricorn. capricorn yeah so mola trikona means among those two each of these things have a preferred house preferred means it is very comfortable there so that also i'll show in that separate class so mercury's uh, thing will be preferred houses virgo so it is mola trikona for it then similarly so venus is taurus okay mars will be aries then uh, jupiter will be sagittarius this is uh, i think it's capricorn yeah so that's what been meant by mulla trikona so in case the person's chart we saw if sun was in uh, sun anyway has only one so there's no question of mulla trikona sun is its own house this doesn't this doesn't apply for sun and moon mulla trikona okay if supposing we okay. had jupiter in that person's case was pisces so it is not in mulla trikona but it is an own house that is where it falls here for that person then next is exaltation next is digbala so we see why this is needed is when we have um when we are studying planetary transits there we'll see and since we know that every planet is in transit so we need to see um which planet is strongest and based on that that things transit gives more effect because if a planet is in weak or its forces are not strong enough it won't matter much so these really help us when we are when we are discussing multiple planets and trying to assess a person's uh, possible events that might happen or experience that a person might have so these things help a lot for that okay but right now this is kind of information and exposure for you we'll take a separate class on this friend shape and all this okay so we can have one question yeah okay sorry one question question can i say Yeah okay sure. Can you just explain mole trichoma once again, please, by request? Yeah. So mole trichoma is like. Let me go to this. Um. That Vivekananda's chart. It will make it easier as a visual. Is it getting shared? No. 
Yeah. Not yet. Uh, not not yet. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now you can see. Yes. 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 So we know that apart from Sun's house is Leo and Moon's is sorry Moon's is Cancer, Sun is Leo here, right? And the other planets have two two house signs each for them, right? They are lords of two two houses each. This is clear, right? Then what Moolatrikona means among these two houses, for example, for Mercury it is Gemini and Virgo. It is having preference for Virgo. So if the planet is in Virgo, it is stronger than normally being in its own house. So among these own house, this is stronger. Moolatrikona. So similarly, Mars is in Aries, its own house is Aries as well as Scorpio, but it is better in when it is in Aries, like that. So the preferred among the two, that is called Moolatrikona. For it's except for sun and moon, which have only one. I have one question here. Hmm. Uh, so if, uh, as you gave an example uh, of the chart, okay, sun is in first house, and first house yeah. being Aries, the Lord is Mars. So yeah. Sun and Mars are friends, so it is good, correct? Yes, correct. But if in that same house, if we had Mars also, that is Sun and Mars, two planets are in the same house, what will happen? Will the same rule apply? Same rule will apply, yes. Okay. Yeah. Conjunction rule will apply. Yeah, it's anyway in friend's house. And Mars is its own house. Yeah. Mm. So, but if you have an enemy also in the same house, will it sort of, uh, you know, negative? Yes. Only the effects, or it, you will it have. Depends. Yeah. yeah. Then we have to see degrees, how close they are in terms of the degrees. You have to see. So that gets into a little more detail, but things will be according to the uh, degrees or the spaces between them in terms of angles. Yeah, can I request one other thing, uh, Venkat, if you can share in the sense that, you know, like, I mean, which are those houses in which they are strong and out of them, which is the one that we should take for Trikona? I mean, like what you're saying, out of the two, one will be... Ola Trikona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'll do is share uh, uh, slides on Shadbala. Shadbala is the six factors for uh, planetary strength. So I'll okay. share that. We'll take a class on that separately. But I'll share the uh, slides beforehand, may probably today. Yeah. yeah. One, one other thing before you had said, I don't know how, how relevant it is here, is to say for Trikona, right? You had said one house number one, five, and nine. So I don't know, I mean, where to place that. Hmm. One, five, one, nine is, uh, yeah, they are the house. considered auspicious houses. But you had mentioned it was Trikona, right? So, yeah, so basically it's yeah. called a triangle. triangle. So one five nine forms a triangle. So for example, Aries, then you have Leo, and then the Sagittarius. One five nine. Okay, so that is not what we are seeing right now, right? So the this one is different. This is Mola Trikona is different. Yeah, I don't know why it's Trikona comes there, but Mola Trikona means the, what I have explained. Yeah, but Trikona is different. That is one five nine Lakshmi houses. That is different. That is about 159. So, Venkat, I had the same question, uh, but actually, mm. on that is the highest the directional strength, right? In terms of the graph that you showed, the progressions, right? So, yeah. now, uh, but the direction strength is house based, right? For example, sun in 10th, right? But suppose if sun is in 10th house, but then it happens to be in Saturn's house, right? Which is mm. actually number three, right? Yeah. Uh, say that, uh, you know, we ignore then again the effect of that and say since it's in 10th house it will give its full effect because that's a sort of a digression right in terms of <laughs> correct the... correct yeah yeah so accordingly the observations have been made and that's what dr bala is documenting in his slides yeah so many of these things uh, we can only explain with logic to some extent rest will be statistical data yeah okay fine yeah yeah, yeah correct Okay, I think 
everyone could not be uh, involved in today's discussion, but I think we had good uh, discussion today anyway.